down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you break into a house. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get caught. Please keep your voice down. It's three in the morning, in the middle of nowhere. Anyone else still awake is probably baking a law pit. Or having a wank. And how would you know that? In personal experience. You're gross. If we're stating previously established facts, you look like a man. Then wouldn't you love to fuck me? Then I'd be a first. I vote that we check this place out and stop insulting each other. I second that. It's just banter. Who doesn't love a bit of banter? What do you vote, Cal? Um, I guess I err on the side of no insults. Well, did you know this democracy? No, you're right. It's not a democracy. It's a dictatorship, and who's the dictator? Let me guess. Lexi. You are incredibly dense. This guy packed a lot. Everything's still here. Sure, everything he needs is in Paris. Maybe. Trust me. He is happy and content with not a care in the world in Paris. Who cares if you pack light? That means more for us. Besides, worst case scenario? I've got this. Put it down! It's just a safety measure, Cal. Like I said, worst case scenario. You're not seriously gonna kill someone, are you? It's just a gun, Cal. Calm your tits. I've used this plenty of times before and it's gotten me out of some pretty heavy shit. I know what I'm doing. Shit, sorry, Cal. I should have told you I had a gun, I forgot. It's alright. But tell me that shit's not loaded. I'm not telling you that, I don't trust you with that I shit. I don't trust you with that shit, give it to me. Fuck no. But I put it away for Cal. You don't have to, I can take it. I don't want to bring up bad memories for you. I've got you. It's just a gun. I don't care. Well, I'm gonna raid the fridge. I accept your invitation. I didn't invite you. It was implied. And then he tried to fuck me. But he got the hint pretty quick. And then he went back to Spain. And he fell off a cliff. Jesus. He died? Well, apparently not straight away. Like, he was alive for two days. But then... Uh, he died of dehydration like an hour before they actually found him, so... That's awful. Don't feel bad. I mean, he was an asshole, so... Still, it's a terrible way to go. <laughs> he was pretty nihilistic, so he probably would have seen the humour in it. I doubt it. Yeah, you do know him. He was weird. I mean, brave and stuff, but weird. Anyway, um, you tell me something. About what? Uh, anything? I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I went to Sydney last year. I stayed in a hotel that was haunted. Really? Haunted? Oh my god. What happened? Um... Nothing. I guess. I was... I just haunted. Name, please. Uh, Seinfeld, uh, you made a reservation for a mid-size, and she's a small. <laughs> I'm kidding around, of course. Yes. Um, okay, let's see here. say that. I hate everybody. Why would I like him? So what do you think? Could you go out with a 66-year-old woman? Well, I'll tell you. She would have to be really vibrant. So vibrant, she'd be spinning. Well, I'm sorry. We have no mid-sides available at the moment. I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. But the reservation keeps the car... Hey, guys. Here. That's why you have the reservations. Guys. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> Guys. 
Guys! If you did, I'd have a car. So you know how to Guys, for fuck's sake, listen to me! You just don't know how to hold the reservation. And that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Anybody can just take them. Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Lexi? Yeah? Something's up. This guy, he left his guidebook here. What? I know, right? His guidebook for Paris. What? I can't hear you. I'm trying not to throw it. Oh, no, that's what it is. Hey, yeah. Here we go, John, let's throw a few drinks. Shut up. Anyway, so I thought it was over, but I knew the manager. What's this? Oh, when Timmy broke into Kmart. Yeah. Anyway, so I knew the manager was going to go and break, so that got me out of that hole. What hole? Are you going to let me finish? Sorry. Timmy had spiked a worker's drink the night before, meaning he wouldn't be able to come into work, meaning work would be understaffed. But the dude came into work anyway, so he thought he was fucked. But he knew when one of the managers was going on lunch break, so he could still steal it. Steal what? Fucking hell, Cal, I'm not gonna retell my whole fucking life story. The manager was known to, like, leave his keys in his locker, stupidly, so Timmy was going to steal them to break into his house. Oh, right. Got it. Thanks. Good, now we got that out of the way. So I saw the manager leave, right? So I decided it was my time to strike. So I went upstairs. How did you know it would be under- Shut the fuck up, Cal! How about you tell us one of your stories, huh? Sorry. No, 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 I want to hear it because I'm sure you have so many amazing stories tucked up your sleeve. Tim. What? No, Les, I want to hear about it because you have such an interesting life and I can't wait to hear a nugget of it. That's right. Cal doesn't have any stories because he's a dull fuck. You know, we could tell the story about how he was perving on Lexi before in the shower, but I'm sure he wouldn't want to tell that. Tim. Or how about we tell the story about his parents? I'm sure they have interesting stuff to talk about. Tim! What? It's banter. Hey guys. Hey, Evening, Miss. Sorry for the late call. It, um, is Edward Glover around, please? Uh, no, he's in Paris. Yeah, I heard that, but his wife has called and said that he hasn't arrived yet. Do you know where he is? No. Um, are you his daughter? Yes. And what's your name, please, miss? Do I have to give out that information? Well, you don't have to. It's Alex. Alex, thank you. Um, are you home alone, Alex? Got a few friends over, but they're asleep. Okay. And do you mind if I come in and have a look around, please? Well, it's quite late. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Do you mind? Sure, but keep it down. Don't want to wake anyone up. Hey, 
light sleepers, are we? <laughs> um, yeah, what's wrong? Not sure at the moment. Alex's father hasn't been seen for a few days and he's supposed to be in Paris, but he hasn't turned up, so I'm just having a look around to see what I can find. Shit, okay. Well, he's not here, but have a look around. Thank you, I think I will. So, Alex, you got a place of your own yet? Um, trying. Might have to work a bit harder then. So, do you have any leads? Uh, not yet. He hasn't been seen for a few days and your mum's getting a bit worried, so I'm just having to poke around to see what I can find. Got a shed out there, have you? Yes, we do. Mind if I have a look? Oof, it's a bit cold out here, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Do you need any more information from us? Uh, no, I think I've got all the information I need from you, thanks. Then, uh, can we get some sleep? Uh, you, I'll just check this shed first and you can get as much sleep as what you need. There's nothing in there. Really? I think I'll go and have a look for myself. You just stay there, please, sir. Oh, fuck me. Show me your hand! I had to. No, you did not. I was protecting us. Being prepared. Do you even know what you've done? Saved your fucking life? Really? That's what you think? He saw a man that had shot himself. That's it. We were innocent. It made us look suspicious. He would have caught on. I would have rather gone to jail for breaking and entering than fucking murder. Did you even think this through? We have to go. It was a bad one. It's got all that shit built up. Well, I'm not surprised. After what happened to him. Well, that's no excuse. It's your fault anyway for bringing the gun. Didn't know he would touch it, let alone use it. I'm losing sympathy for him. You guys must be as well. Maybe a little. After last night. I thought so. But I couldn't abandon him. I just couldn't. Losing your parents like that, it's... Oh, look, we've gone this far. Surely we can keep face a little bit longer. Now is not the time to abandon him. He would kill himself if we did. That'd be so bad. It's not funny. Hey, Cal. What's up? Hey, guys.